So they came around 1045, this package. So here it is, the Lenovo ThinkStation P620. Looks like power cable and a mouse, USB mouse. This is supposed to be like 52 pounds, I think. This looks like a keyboard. Hmm. A lot of people aren't impressed with keyboards because they like those fancy keyboards, but the simple, ooh, sounds. I don't know if that's the plastic I'm hearing, but I like keyboards full. Number pad, it's just what I use. Let's see if I can get this out. Kind of have handles. Um, I think it might be taller than the computer I have now, but that seems to be it. So I think we have two handles in the front. Nope, just one. Security seal so they know you can use the thing. It's more narrow than the computer I have now. That's good. Has a DVD writer. I still use DVD, well not DVDs. I still use CDs because I have a bunch of CDs over the years. SD card slot, I use that. I'm glad that's there. Um, USB ports. Power button. And it looks like they want me to lay it down this way. We have three display ports and a USB-C port on the GPU. USB 3. This looks like USB 2, possibly. Uh, RJ45. And... Some old school stuff, audio stuff I'm not going to use. I thought there was, oh, I don't even notice it, but there's a headphone jack on the front, but I use audio interfaces and stuff, so. There's a lock. I don't think I have a key. Maybe it's in the box, but this is supposed to open. Oh. Oh, made it easy for you for HDDs, you know, all your other stuff, graphics card, and so I just can put the hard drives in the slot. I bought a blue drive, Western Digital, six terabytes, but I, when I looked this up online, I think it said that the max is four, but I don't know, I think it should be fine. I think they have some spots for some SATA connections. This is the memory, so we get four slots, and only two are being used. It's 32 gigabytes of RAM. I think it's expandable to 128, maybe even 256. I believe the processor, the Threadripper 3955WX, allows for like one or two terabytes of RAM. But it's under here somewhere. <laughs> okay, let's look at some actual specs. This is the ThinkStation P620. These are all of the ports. And they're listed here. You got the power button, headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter. USB 3.2 Gen 2, which is, I believe, 10 gigabits a second. Um, and it does have a 10 gigabit ethernet connection or network card. So 10 is USB 2.0. Those are the ones I showed you, okay? And the ones on the front are USB 3. The processor that I have is the Threadripper Pro 3955. A base frequency of 3.9 gigahertz. Let's see if I can show you the cores. 16 cores, 32 logical processors. Not bad. Oh, see, right now, 4 gigahertz. I just had to turn off the fan on this Pi that I have. But if you want to know like about my setup, then let me know down in the comments. So I have the Quadro RTX 4000, which is eight gigabytes, right, of RAM there. And three 
display ports with one virtual link, which is I think obsolete, but it's a USB-C connector type basically. And so it says up to one terabyte of RAM, but I believe the model I have is 512. I may have said something much less, but I think it is 512 and it's DDR4. You know, and there are actually eight slots. So 128 gigabytes per slot. Uh, maybe I could do 64, but uh, you know, I have to really do some digging to find out specifically, you know, and it wouldn't be that hard. But I don't plan on upgrading it that much unless I run into issues later on. And it did come with one terabyte SSD storage. So I did get that one terabyte. And the DVD RW, gotta love it. A thousand watt power supply, which isn't bad, you know. So the network adapter I got does not have Wi-Fi. So there is no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth. But, you know, I don't know if I would use it. Maybe if I did have it. But, you know, I just didn't get it because, you know, it wasn't offered. But this is the machine, you know, that I wanted. So that's probably a little compromise. And one of these front ports is always on and fast charge. I haven't connected my phone to it to see, but I guess I can. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because this cable is very short. Why is this cable so short? It might be the one that my camera is actually plugged into. So, you know, maybe I'll get back to you on that one. And I think that's it, you know, that anybody would really care about. It is TPM 2.0, you know, you should expect that. But those are the specifics of what I got. Oh, wait, it did end up being 2860 because I had some issues. I ordered another one and this one ended up costing more, but I got it at a reasonable price because I was able to tell them, you know, I was expecting this one machine or this one workstation. It didn't come when it was supposed to come or whatever. And you know, I could go elsewhere for a computer, right? So we're gonna have to do something. And I think the uh, listed price was like 3,400, but you know, they list them like four, five, 6,000 and say it's, you know, like 40 something percent off. So it ended up being like a total of 3,100 and it listed it as $6,000. I don't know if it's a $6,000 machine. This is the first one, you know, that I was trying to get. And the total would have been 2,500. So I did end up spending $500 more, but so far I'm happy with it. There you have it. And yeah, it comes off completely. And I don't know, do I have to put my own lock or what? Let's see. Nothing's in here, it's just a mouse. I probably would just save this for hard times when I need a mouse quick. This is the keyboard. That's it, so I'll have to figure out the lock situation or if I even want to lock it. That's it. I plugged it in. I need to make sure, you know, it powers up and everything before I start unhooking my, you know, my old stuff. pretty quiet I don't hear it at all but it looks like it started I guess we can continue the sound you probably hear is my old computer Windows will read and scan this list automatically press the space bar to select the highlighted option connect Ethernet So it's asking me about Windows 11. I don't know if all the software that I'm going to use or have been using is, um, you know, really going to work well with that. And I guess it's still kind of fairly new. So I'm not going to do that at this point. I'm going to just stick with Windows 10. I've been using 8 up until now on my, you know, my main driver. You know, I have 10 on a laptop and stuff, but I mainly have been using 8 up until this point. So I'll just go with 10. And... You know, I can choose to do it later. 
Hopefully it won't come at a cost at that point, but I guess this is it. Looks like it's working. Shut it down. I'm going to shut down this other one and start the hard work. Wait, let's see how long it takes to boot up now that everything is set up. I finally can hear it. I don't know if my monitor likes it. I might have to turn it on. Oh, it's doing something. Of course, you get this. Turn on studio monitors. Sure, turning on the monitors. Okay, so I'm going to try to install another hard drive. I'm going to boot up the old PC, get some files off of there, probably transfer them through the server to here. And that's it right now, and then start installing some software. I need to make sure that the MIDI controller is working. It looks like it's off now, but I probably unplugged it. I just have to check that and plug it back in if it's not plugged in because it's probably running off of, you know, the USB power. I think maybe it's always ran like that because I don't typically look at it when the computer's off. But, you know, I'll see and I'll go to the box and get the cable, the power cable, just in case, you know. Okay, drive is there. That's done. I don't know if I'm going to partition this at some point because the last time, you know, I had like a six gigabyte drive and later on I was like, maybe I should partition it for different purposes, but I don't know if I want to do that. Okay. All right. Wait, I can record at the same time. I got a lot of stuff set up. Uh, I installed some software. I did some audio stuff. I did some video. I did graphics. Oh, and I did, you know, some 3D stuff in Blender, you know, like old stuff that I had. But just take a look. This scene is completely indoors like it's in a box with no windows i have a light in there and i added environmental texture you know hdr lighting and of course that lighting is outside but it's using an ev renderer and it's working pretty good real time it's very quiet um i think i had this I had Blender open, I had OBS, I had World of Warships, and YouTube all going at once, and then I kind of heard the, you know, the fan kicking and you know some noise, but I'm really not going to be doing all that stuff at once. So it's pretty good so far, and you know as time goes on, I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue to put more software on there as I think about it. You know, when there's time that I need to use it and I'll, I'll do that. But so far for the main stuff that I do, it's fine. I haven't tried any machine learning AI stuff, you know, working with models and stuff yet, but I'm gonna see if I could go ahead and do that with my GPU and see how that turns out. But you know, that'll probably be in the next couple days. But so far I'm happy. Temporarily the old computer is here I did use that mouse and keyboard because I had a mouse and keyboard on this one that I'm now using on the new workstation. So I used the one from the box so that, you know, I can, you know, transfer files and stuff from this older computer. Maybe you can hear what that one sounds like, but yeah, it's, I don't know, something's wrong. But I'm glad I got a new one before it totally, you know, shuts down on me. We'll see how I feel in a month, six months, and a year.